You know, there's some beautiful places to fish and vacation in the Midwest. None more beautiful than right here in Southwest Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today I'm in the Kickapoo River Valley. We're fishing a tributary of the Kickapoo River in Crawford County, Wisconsin. I'm fishing with Len Harris, who specializes in trout fishing in this area. So Len, you've got a stretch of the river that's pretty windy here. Tell us where you try and cast to catch the fish. Well, there's a nice fast rapid, and it's, that's bringing all the food down to the trout. About halfway through there is what I call a step drop. There's a place where the fish can lay in hiding, waiting and just come up and, and, and get their spinner. So if I was going to spin it, I'd throw it about three quarters away up the fast, I'd move a little left, and I'd bring it right down there, and you're going to have your bite right there. You can see there's a little back eddy there of exactly. a, a circling current. But... The current has cut out the, the dirt and made it a little deeper, and it's a good place for ambush. All right, let's try it. There. Where's my fish? What do we got there? That is a little brownie. We also just saw an otter swimming around here, about, you know, yay big, that was munching on these trout too. So uh, we didn't think we'd even catch one in here, but. <laughs> I thought that he would already taken care of business in here. Did one hit it? Yep. Take him right out. Beautiful fish, look at that. Look at the colors, wow. And this water is cold. <laughs> There he is. Oh, you got another one, almost the same size. Oh, look, he's gonna jump in the net. Look at him, stay down too. Wow, beautiful. Jeez. Oh yeah! Hey, puddle fish, buddy. <laughs> Take Ooh, one. nice fish. Yep. Jumper. You got him or you want me to I get him? I got him if I can get him. Whoa, they are very acrobatic, I tell you. The last glacial period that, that came through Wisconsin did not touch this area, and it left a lot of rolling hills and meandering streams full of all sorts of brook trout and browns. So this is what Wisconsin probably looked like 10,000 years ago before the glaciers came. Exactly. Wow, that's amazing. And folks, it really relies heavily on tourism. It's a beautiful area, and there's a lot of resorts and type of stuff that you can stay in too when you come up and fish with Len. One of them that we're staying at is Lonesome Hollow. You can check them out at lonesomehollow.com. They have uh, condo units, little uh, bedroom suites, and it's a bed and breakfast, as well as they have like resort style living where you can, uh, they have houses, they're beautiful. They're two bedroom condo units that have complete kitchens, uh, two bedrooms, beautiful bathrooms, uh, nice relaxing living room areas. Just check them out online or else uh, give Len a call and he'll steer you in the right direction there. Let's go catch more fish. You betcha. Now Len, is this a feeder creek or what? No, it's one of the six springs that feed into this stream. And that's why all these trout are here, is because it's so nice and cold. You need at least 40 degrees to turn the fish on, allow them to bite. I've got my handy dandy thermometer, and you notice that I'm sticking it down in the water. I'm not giving surface temperature. I'm checking all the way down the bottom. The fish don't live on the top, they live on the bottom. Let's see what we have for temperature. 30 degrees right here where the spring is oh, emptying in. Oh man. You know, what makes this kind of fishing really fun is uh, this current is coming through here. It washes away the bank, which makes a great ambush point for these fish to just sit and wait for food to flush down the river. Once they see the food, they come out of their hiding spot and go get it. There it is. Oh, there nice we go. Fish too. Oh, nice job. <laughs> We're using a Panther Martin spinner, just a six, number six Panther Martin spinner. And it's really easy to fish in it. All you need is a good pair of waders. Obviously these Hodgman's will do the trick. And then what we're using is a, a six foot six medium action spinning rod, six pound test line. This happens to be a Fluger with the metalist medium. And it's just as easy as that. You're just casting, walking up river, looking at the, looking for the holes, right? The little pockets where they hold, yeah. And when it's precision casting, you just uh, throw it into the hole, wait for them to hit. You can see this guy did its job today. Boy, it's called the PM Regular. It's a number six size. It's a Panther Martin Spinner. And they've just inhaled this lure today. As fast as I can put it back in, they just take it. A little farther. Take him out, it's him, it's him, it's him. 
Holy smokers. Gotta get this boy. Look at the color on that thing. Gotta get him. Whoa, that is beautiful. That is a tiger trout, Larry. A tiger. You caught what's a, a cross between a male brook trout and a female brown. It's called wow. the tiger trout. Hey folks, I want to thank Lynn Harris for giving us the tour of Southwest Wisconsin. Really appreciate the day. It's beautiful scenery and excellent fishing. Folks, if you want to come up here, just give Len Harris a call, check them out online, or else give Lonesome Hollow a call at their website, or uh, check them out on their website. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. I'm Larry Ladowski, and we'll catch you later. Nice tiger. Nice job. Thank you.